Here we're looking at the output being the total number of iPhones sold in a given quarter. So here's our input. So our units in this case for A would have to be the um, iPhones sold. So we'll just say iPhones. And um, this is per, uh, not year in this case, but per quarter because every tick mark along the horizontal axis represents a quarter. In part B, you want to find the average rate of change between second quarter of 2007, which is right there, and the fourth quarter of 2011, which is right there. Well, on average, if we had to kind of estimate, you know, give this thing a constant rate of change, it would look like that. And we have to kind of guess about what we think it is. This looks to be about uh, three quarters of the way between 30 and 40, so I'll make it about 38. So this is about uh, 38. And this guy down here is at about, uh, I don't know, maybe one, maybe one million. That's kind of open to interpretation. And this has gone from, well, how many quarters? We can kind of count by hand if we want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So this is in eighteen quarters. Um, the price has gone up from one to thirty-eight. So that's a positive increase of 37, and this is a um, million iPhones. I'll say million iPhones, which translates to 37 divided by 18, comes out to about, um, on average, 2.1 million iPhones per year. Now keep in mind this is not how much they're selling each year, this is how much the number that they're selling goes up by each year. So they're not always selling 2.1, you can just see you can see that that's not the case cuz it's always going up, but every year there are 2.1 million more than the previous year on average. That's really what we need to say here. So between second quarter 2007, fourth quarter 2011, on average the number of iPhones sold has gone up by 2.1 million per year. In part C, find the average rate of change between the third quarter of 2008 and the first quarter of 2009. So third quarter of 2008, which is right there, and fourth quarter of 2009. Um, excuse me, and the first quarter of 2009. So third quarter of 2008, fourth quarter of 2009. So it's gone from, uh, that looks to be about maybe 7 million maybe about 7 million to about, uh, we'll say about 5 million. So it's actually gone down by 2 million iPhones. Over the course of how many quarters? Well, that's one, two quarters. So that equates to about the decrease of 1 million iPhone sales per quarter. Um, so that might be deceiving, you know, depending on what company you are. Uh, it's easy to kind of lie with numbers and say, hey, you know what, the business business isn't going so well. But overall, you can see the trend is upwards. Assuming the average rate of change between the second quarter of 2007, so the one we found between here and here, is valid, estimate I iPhone sales in the fourth quarter of 2012. Okay, well, we know that we estimated that in fourth quarter 2011, it's at about 38. That's the, how many iPhones are sold. But now we want to go to the fourth quarter of 2012, which is four quarters later. And we know that each quarter, uh, it goes up on average by 2.1 million per year. So that means we would expect 38 plus four more increases of 2.1 million iPhones. We would expect um, 46.4 million iPhones sold in quarter for uh, 2012.